next week after announcing an agreement in principle on the measure. RFD-TV Sarah Mock shares what we can expect to see before the end of the year live from our D.C. studios. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Janet. Well, you said it, uh, all that needs to be said, I think. The months-long stalemate over this farm bill seems to have come to an end after we heard a tight-lipped uh, kind of message from Senate leaders earlier this week, from Ranking Member Debbie Sabinow and Chairman Pat Roberts. We then later heard from Mike Conaway, uh, who, you know, delivered the news that this agreement in principle has been reached, and he described where that situation is right now. Well, now the, uh, they're putting the uh, final touches on across the, uh, across the T's, dotting the I's, uh, putting the big ribbon on the, on the package, that kind of thing. A lot of hard work to be done, uh, but uh, the four of us have agreed in principle where we're going to get to, and uh, now the time is to, to finish that off and, and uh, uh, get the, the total product done. But uh, this is the big step that uh, for all four quarters now to say this is the deal we want. And now we just have to be firm with our staff to uh, make sure that, uh, uh, that any differences between the staff we get resolved quickly and, uh, and get this thing process moving forward so we can get it to the House floor and the Senate floor uh, on an expeditious manner. Now we've been ears to the ground here in Washington, hearing for those little details that are starting to trickle out. Of course, these folks are holding those details very close to the vest just because they're worried that any uh, kind of release of the information in advance would allow a kind of a coalition to build against this compromise for folks who aren't happy. Uh, we are seeing from for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who was active in this process to get hemp language into this bill. Uh, we're seeing some movement on that front. We're also seeing what Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley might not be excited about. Payment limits seem to not be on the list of things in this bill. Uh, so we'll see what that means for the bill when it uh, reaches the floor next week. Well, as always, Sarah, thank you very much for keeping us posted. And, of course, we'll get another update on the Farm Bill and the President's talks at the G20 Summit live from D.C. at 11 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. While the environment